Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and destroy video. Today we are continuing on with this plane right here. We've done quite a lot of videos on this plane now, I'm not going to lie. It has been many, many videos. But today what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of the rear gunner and we are going to change it for something else. Because at the minute, this doesn't seem to be the best and uh, yeah, it's not really the best. So we're going to get rid of it and we are going to come up with a different system for the back and hopefully that will work. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so let's go backwards and start deleting things. We're going to get rid of all of this because, uh, quite honestly, we need to. It doesn't look amazing as it is, so we might as well get rid of it anyway uh, and try and make something that will work a little bit better. So, if we sealed this off uh, like we were going to, like this, uh, all the way down to there like that, there we go, and we did something like this, and then honestly, we just need to put this piece in like that, and we put this piece on here like this. Then if it was just sealed off, would that actually be okay? I think it would. I actually like that. I think it looks really, really cool. Also, we could just put a little spike on the back. I think that would look awesome. But no, what we're going to do is we're going to add a gun somewhere. I just don't know where it should go. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Okay, so what if it actually went somewhere like this? There we go. We get ourselves a pivot and we just attach it straight onto there. So this would go like this, there we go, that's awesome. And that would allow us to put some guns on there and that would be really cool. Uh, we would then need another pivot, like this one for example, uh, which would go behind it, so like... Let's put it here, this seems like a good idea. So we'd put the robotic pivot uh, right about there. We'd delete these guys. They are still attached to each other, which is good. But no, we want it to be the other way around. Okay, so we want it to actually sit on top of it. Alright, we want this to sit right on top of there. There we go, that's good. Delete this guy then. And that is awesome. So what this means is that we should actually be able to aim the gun up and possibly even down as well. Uh, and that is a very, very good thing for us. So if we put a block right on there, that seems pretty awesome. Uh, we then need this to be attached somewhat to the other side. So we'll do something like this. There we go. Uh, drag it across the top like that and put it back down. Okay. There we go, guys. There we go. So this is our little system for getting our guns ready to, to shoot, I, I guess. I don't know. This might work. All right, and then the idea was we'd actually use light auto cannons to actually shoot down whatever would be coming for us. Uh, and that would mean actually adding an auto cannon somewhat like this to the top and then a small little drum on top of that like this. Uh, and that is actually a very big drum. Oh god, uh, can I make it smaller than that? Is there a way of doing that? I don't really think there is. Uh, unless we did something like this. Okay. And the drum actually went on the top of that, but that doesn't work either. If I pointed it outwards and we added the drums to the sides, would that look a little bit better or a little bit worse? Probably worse. Alright, you know what? We'll just attach them onto the top. And we will hope that that doesn't look too bad to you guys. It looks awful. We'll try it though. We'll see if it works. Okay, so with that being said then, we need a camera to go right in the center so we can actually see what's going on. Uh, and we'll put that right there. So now, when we are shooting, we should be able to see what's going on. We'll actually put it down. Uh, right in between the guns. Because that will allow us to actually see what's happening a little bit better. Uh, and that's always good. Right. Okay. How strange. We'll see if this works. I, I don't know whether it will. But anyway, we need a seat for it. So let's get ourselves a seat. Uh, it'll be a compact pilot seat. And honestly, it'll actually go all the way back here. It will go at the back of the plane. Uh, we'll have it right there. We need a way of getting in and out of that. So we'll have to delete these guys. Put ourselves another seat in. Which is going to be one of these. And this is going to be our get in, get out seat. There we go. Put that right there. Okay, cool. So, that's all good. We're going to go ahead and connect A and D to left and right, which is this. We're going to connect W and S. Uh, if I can see it. Where's W and S? There we go. W and S to up and down, which is this. And we are going to connect trigger to spacebar. And trigger on this one to spacebar as well. And then infrared mode. We're not going to do that just yet. Field of view, we're not going to do that either. Although we should. That's actually going to be up and down. There we go. And that's it. It should be good to go, this. Like, 
It's very minimal. It's very minimalistic. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Just because it's minimal doesn't mean it's bad. All right, okay, do this, do this, and do this. Okay. Right. If this works, I'm going to be super happy. Uh, kinetic, kinetic. Uh, sure. We need a monitor so we can actually see what's going on. So a monitor. We'll go in here. It's going to be a 2 by 3 one. There we go. And this. Boop. There we go. Okay, connect this to the electricity too. Uh, give it some power. Okay, so when, when we're in the seat, when it's occupied, we can shoot. That's good. And the video actually comes from the gun. There we go. Is it going to work? Who knows? Okie dokie. So if we run to the back of this aircraft, we can actually get in the seat. We can turn the gun sideways. We can actually shoot the weaponry. Can we aim it up and down? It's attached to the wrong piece. It's attached to the wrong pieces, guys. Uh-oh. Yeah, so we can't aim it up and down because I've attached it wrong. That's okay, though. So if we go ahead and we grab this, and we grab the gun as well, we cut it, and we paste it. Okie dokie. Take it to the other side, and we do exactly the same thing. Cut it, paste it. We grab the thing in the middle as well. So we actually clear this. We cut this, and we paste it. We then merge this with this, this with this, all right? And they need to be merged with this. There we go. Now, in theory, it should work. Okay, run backwards, go ahead and sit in the seat. There we go, and we can actually aim it up uh, all the way up there. That is awesome. We can shoot our own propellers off, but you know what? If anything's chasing me, like, right behind, they are dead. Also, we can do that thing. We can actually shoot up into uh, into an enemy plane. So if we fly underneath it, we can just press space, and we can shoot directly up into it, and then follow it backwards as well. That's crazy. Obviously, we don't have that much ammo, but I like it. That's cool. Okay, with that being said then, let's go ahead and change this from kinetic to probably fragmentation. There we go. Uh, fragmentation on that one as well, and that is awesome. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. I'd say it looks way better than it used to as well. Uh, the whole back end of the plane looks a lot better as well. And I think we're gonna, we've done a good job with that. We have. Uh, right, let's get it into the sky uh, real quick then. And we'll see how it, this goes. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try and drop the bombs, get back into that seat and fly away. Or at least that's the plan. Also, we've got no video from that thing. We've got no video video from this to there because we don't have electricity to any of this rear area now. So now we do. Okay. Now that'll work. Very good. Okie dokie. Take off, please. That would be great. Our little gun on the back does look kind of menacing. I'm not going to lie. And realistically, if I wanted to add the biggest drums we've got, it wouldn't impact the gun at all. It would just look ugly. So... There you go. Do you want it to look ugly? Probably not. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, okay. We need to change that. We need to change that so much, actually. Right, so this thing on the bottom, what is it even connected to? That's connected to this. Right, and that is also connected to that, which controls what? What does this control? What does that control? What's that? Oh, our landing gear. Okay, I see. So this, I don't think we should actually have on a pivot anymore. I feel like it should just be a camera located on the bottom, and that's it. Shouldn't really do anything. So that's good. <laughs> we'll leave it pointing just straight forwards, and I think that'll be fine. All right, get back in. Let's take off. And hopefully this time, we'll hit nothing off the ground, and that'll be okay. All right, here we go. Engine's on. We need to get rid of this button as well. And that'll be it. Cool. Okie dokie guys, are we going to be able to take off? That is the question. Let's have a little looky here. We're not going to hit anything off the floor this time, so we should just take off. Perfect. No, that's, that's perfect. It's not. It's not perfect. It's just, it's not perfect. It's not. But what we can do is we can actually just steer it onto the runway. I just don't like doing that for some reason. Never mind. Alright, here we go. Get inside. Close this up. Go. Jet engines, go. Go, go, go. So we're going to floor it, but we're going to turn straight away, because we can actually do that. Which would be great, because then we can take off normally. Yes. Good. Good. Okay, move us forwards. Just a touch. 
There we go, very good. Okay, the propellers. The propellers actually act like taxi you know, It's kind of cool. Alright, cool. We'll turn ourselves to the side. And then we'll take off. Meow. There we go. Alright, the beast is in the sky. Good. Uh, interior lights? Sure. Probably shouldn't jump out of the seat when the gyro isn't on. The gyro's acting all weird. I appear to not have any roll control. I have zero ability to roll this aircraft. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why that would be the case. Why has that happened? <laughs> why has that happened? I can't roll the plane anymore. What the? What the heck is going on there? Is it just an electricity problem? Because it might be. It might be an electricity problem. Let's have a little look. Okay, so roll is somewhere in here. There we go, roll, it's connected. And it's connected to the seat, so... Should be good. It should be completely fine. We'll add more batteries. Um, just in case, because I, I did see that as a, a problem that could occur. Uh, so we'll attach some more. There we go. Good, attach that straight to there, attach that straight to there. Uh, dial electric, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we'll connect that up. There we go. We'll connect this guy up as well, very good. And we'll connect those batteries up too. Okay. Very good. Very good indeedy. Okie dokie. Right, okay. So we are good to go. Let's take it up one more time and see how it flies. And we'll jump on the back gunner and we'll see if that works. We'll also see if the roll works because I don't know why it didn't just then. There you go. All right, in the seat. There we go. Nav lights. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Okie dokie, we are moving. There we go. Alright, turn us to the side instantly, please. Thank you. And then we should be able to just take off just like this. There we go, we're in the air. Can we roll? We can't roll. We can pitch. But we can't roll. Is the electricity not going out to the wings? Is that what's, is that what's going on? Is there no electricity out here? Yeah, there's just no electricity to these guys. No electricity to that guy either. What the heck? Alright, connect this straight up like that. There we go. Do that. There we go. Alright, cool. We're all connected now. We are we are all connected now. So now we have roll. Jeez Louise. It sucks when you delete something and you do your electricity the way I do. You shouldn't do your electricity the way I do. Essentially. That's, that's the problem we have here. I'm just a bad electrician. Okay, dunkly, we are taking off, guys. We are taking off. Oi! There we go. That's very close, but we're good. All right, cool. So let's fly away. Press. Uh, da 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 da. Gyro. We do have roll now because we have electricity. Let's go ahead and close this up. Otherwise, we'll fall out. That'd be great. There we go. Crouch all the way backwards. Here we go. Get on the gun at the back. Shoot. Even if I aim down, does that mean I can't actually... I can't actually shoot my own plane if I aim down. That's very smart. That's extremely smart. Very good, guys. Very good. Nice. Alright, cool. Well, anyway, uh, I think... Oh, god. I think I'll actually end the video here for now. We've changed our rear gunner, so it is a hell of a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, we've got no amp. We've got more ammo. And we've got more deadly ammo. And, yeah, it's just a, it's just a better idea, so... We'll leave that the way it is, and that is awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.